Hi everyone. Today I'm making storm windows out of the screens from an awning window. Maybe some of you have done this already, but I thought I'd show it to people to show how quickly they can actually add warmth to their house without spending much money at all. You get these window kits here. There may be other brands you like. I'm not recommending a brand here. This is just the one that's available here in Vermont where I live. It comes with this clear film. I've used about half of this roll so far. And double-sided tape right here. I've already gone ahead to save you the boredom of watching me lay out tape and put tape all the way around the perimeter here on the metal frame. First I clean the whole thing because if you got dirt or grit or any kind of thing on there the tape won't stick to it just like any tape or glue substance. And then you lay it down and you take this film and lay it across there. It's somewhat of a tricky process because if it hits the tape it's so sticky it might get misaligned but if you leave a little space on the edge of the table between you and here so that the plastic comes up over it like that it won't lay on there you can get it all the way up like this lay it down and then come back and seal it around so now it looks like this with the wrinkles in it it's pretty good but you probably want to see out these windows so you can use a hair dryer if you want to I happen to have a really nice heat gun right here that does a better job but a hair dryer on the high setting works fine and all you do see if I can get the camera to visualize what I'm actually doing here turn this on make sure you have a good grip it's much easier to do this laying down but I stood it up so that you could actually see the process. The heat gun like this does a much quicker job of it because you can get up to like, this one's a thousand degrees right now. Hair dryer is probably five or six hundred, but it will work. I've done it many times. And I just made a mistake. I had it up on there instead of laying down and I couldn't see it. I burnt a hole in it. Hi, I'm going to show you step one here for the storm window, uh, I guess DYI, do your own thing, yeah, whatever, <laughs> uh, thing you're about to see. First thing you want to do, you see this, this one's completely missing the screen. This is a screen out of an awning window, and I don't feel like fixing the screen right now because I don't really need it, but the edges are a little cruddy and dirty and the tape won't stick well so I just use a piece of steel wool you can use double zero on that so you don't scratch it up too much just clean it off don't have to scrub too hard most of what's on there is just old glue from the last time I did this last year which dries up pretty quick and some dirt that stuck to it that was easy hey Right. Then, I've already done a couple of these, so I do hope that I have enough tape for this one. I think I do. This is double-sided tape, it's sticky this side. This has a plastic on it so you can touch it. Don't Try not to touch it with your fingers too much because all that dirt makes the glue not stick very well. Just put your first piece on. Stretch it to the length, get the end. Make sure it's lined up in the middle. And press it on. Take your knife, slice it at the end. And you do that around. Now leave the plastic on the back of it while you do it. You don't want to be getting your sleeve caught on it or doing damage to it as you go along. You want to keep it clean. Take another piece. If you want to make a really accurate one, you'll start at the end where the tape already exists instead of coming towards it and go away. 
Stick it on there, run your finger on it. Cut that one again. Once again, stick it on near the piece you already have on. Go the length. Make sure it's all lined up. Press it. The last one is always a little trickier because you've got to make it fit between two pieces. But it's doable. Just stretch it, touch it just a little bit before the end so you can see what you're doing. And then roll it out towards it. Get it lined up. Just put your knife on there and pull. And you'll have an exact fit so the air doesn't get through the gap at the end. Okay? Now, just the piece I ruined. Just the good stuff. That's the good stuff. All right, we got a piece all cut for this. <clears throat> We're going to take this off. Peel that. Go slow. Don't be in a hurry. You can't do yourself a favor by hurrying. And what are you going to save? A half a second on the whole project. Not worth hurrying. Same with most things. Unless you're trying to put out a fire. Okay. Just grab that by the end. You peel it off. And just pull it. Try to stay close to the cut. Because sometimes this will have a slice in it. You'll be pulling it and it'll pull off. And it'll shred. And it's really difficult to get it apart after that. To get the residue off. So try to stay close to where you're pulling from. These pieces are fairly short. So you never can get too far away. But you can do this for a picture window or a sliding glass door, too. All right. That's how you get the tape on there. Now, take this piece of clear plastic. I know plastic isn't everybody's favorite thing these days. I know it has its issues. But I'll tell you, the amount of money and energy, whether your propane, oil, or wood, whatever you use to heat your house, you save. It's a fair enough trade-off in this case. There. So you get the top done. Sides. As tight as you can. tricky stuff. It gets static on it and sometimes it won't do what you want it to do, but you can figure it out. It's kind of an intuitive mission. And then pull it to the bottom as best you can and wrap it. Press it in. Like that. Take your knife. Knife's getting dull. I'll have to change it after this video. And I try to keep this tight. It's like a piece of paper. If it's tight, it'll slice really well. So I have plywood here that I don't mind cutting into. If you're doing this on the kitchen table or some other place, you definitely want to have some other surface on top of your table to keep yourself from destroying it. So that is a complete package before I shrink wrap it. Turn on the heat. Try not to get the cord stuck. A really good hair dryer will do the same thing for you. Might take a little longer. Let's 
pretty good. Get a couple of lines on there I want to get rid of. Just the fold lines where the stuff comes in the package. We're very lucky here. Up on the hill here in Vermont, we have a beautiful view out front, and we like to see that view every single day. It really gets you through it, especially these days when things aren't going so well for so many people. We consider ourselves fortunate, and I hope this helps you save a little bit of money and feel a little better every day when you get up in your nice warm apartment, your house, wherever it is you live right now. And I hope you pass the video along to someone else who could use it as well. So, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again. And we're back from a commercial break. This is the film for the window. I bought a huge piece for... Fit a couple of uh, sliding glass doors just to have as much as I need. You can buy much smaller kits if you only have a couple of windows to do. So you unfold it. Make sure... You get the length right here. Give yourself a little extra. Best thing to use for this is a sharp pair of scissors. Don't have to be very expensive. Looks like I could use a better pair of scissors. Okay. And a knife, utility knife, such as that, to cut the tape is helpful. Then, you unfold this. It comes all folded up. There's a lot more there than it, you think at first. And even when you get it all out, like that, Looks like that's it. It's not. There's even more here. It's very thin. Okay. Now I got static electricity making it stick to the side of my bench. That will happen. As you can see, it's a little bit tricky, but very doable. Put you a little bit of your weight. See my stomach along the edge there? Try to get this straight. Do a little bit of friction so you can lean over without pulling it too hard. Try to calculate your distance by eye. How far you have to go. And lay it out there like that. Get the top sealed first. Like that. Take your edges, pull from the edges, get your corners, run your fingers up there, and you've got to get under here. If I haven't already made it stick too much already, and pull it again, there. Get it as tight as you possibly can before you shrink it. Put your fingers all the way around the edge. Make sure that tape is stuck to it completely or else it'll, this stuff stretches so much you could actually pull the tape right off if you do this wrong. And I find along here, this is your best tool for doing this. The scissors tend to hack it up. If you don't have a destructible table like this of your own, get something to put on your kitchen table that you don't mind cutting on. And there's quite a lot left. I'll get two windows out of this fold that I just cut. Put that aside over here. Then, last time I did this, I stood it up and I was trying to look at the camera and do this at the same time and I overheated it and I popped it. Gonna do a better job this time. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. See all the wrinkles and 
things like that in it. You could use it like this. It wouldn't hurt, but you just won't be able to see out of it very well. What I'm going to do is leave it laying down this time. Turn on my heat gun. You can use a hair dryer if you want to on the high setting. As I've already shown you, if you use one of these, you've got to be a lot more careful than you do with a hair dryer because it's so hot. Get your distance right and your temperature right. After a while, you just know what you're doing and it's easy. The first time through, you might make a mistake. Try not to punish yourself too badly. Everybody makes mistakes. Now, show you what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? Storm window for paintings. It's a great idea. <clears throat> Any screen that you can take out, you can do this with. Uh, we did one yesterday for the rec room, and that window was five feet by six feet. I had to make a wooden frame, and I put a split down the middle to hold it up, put this on there with my son, and it was done in like 10 minutes. It was great. This is a great way to save a little bit of money on your energy and still be able to see out the window. And in summertime, you can just peel this off, get the tape off there, and your screen is a screen again. If you have a wood shop like I do, you could make all new frames and just make a special frame and leave the screen alone. But I'm always looking for the least expensive way to do things. I like to help other people find cheap ways to save money too. So thanks. Hope you enjoyed this. Okay, there was one thing I wanted to share with you before I end this video. I thought I've ended it twice already, but I keep forgetting what I want to tell you. Is that when you go to put the screen slash storm window back in, you want to clean the window that you're putting it in. And you want to take your heat gun or your hair dryer and warm up the space inside there as much as you possibly can. You want to get all the moisture out. So that when you put this on there, you're not sealing moisture in that could turn into frost. It's not going to hurt anything, but then you won't be able to see out the window, which is one of the reasons why you do this. If you do this right, there'll be no frost between the, plane, the panes at all, and you'll have a clear window all winter long. You can leave them in in the summertime, too, if you have central air conditioning and you're not somebody who opens the windows a lot. This can actually help keep the heat out as well. We have large picture windows in our house that don't move. The place was built that way. So I made frames that are almost 4 feet by 8 feet out of thick pine on the edges and put them in there. And they've been in there for 4 or 5 years now. If you take care of these, they can, they can last. But make sure... You keep that area in between the windows free of moisture before you seal it up. That way you'll always have a nice clear view. Thanks for listening.